Welcome to Florio Models Kit Review Time. Today I have to thank Steve Wright for sending me this fantastic uh, selection of Seamline Scrapers. Okay, now as you know, over the last uh, about a year now, uh, John at Models Are Go kindly sent me these to have a little bit of a play with and give him some feedback on. And uh, to be honest, never really used them before. I've used my knife blade and things like that for cleaning up various areas and stuff, but never had a dedicated tool. But after using these, I am a complete convert. They are just so handy. They cause so little collateral damage, as in they don't destroy bits you don't want to. It takes out exactly what you need to, cleanly, precisely, uh, without the need of actually going in there and either cutting bits off or certainly sanding and things like that. And I think it improved my modeling quite extensively. Uh, not exactly the most cheapest things in the world, shall we say, but definitely a great tool to have and something in. And I know a lot of you jumped on it as well on the site and went out and got them. And pretty soon the Flory effect set in, a lot of people run out. But generally, I think it's just one of those very handy tools to have. But didn't really know much about them, if I'm honest. Now, Steve has sent me down a selection down here from various manufacturers. To be honest, a lot of them from Japan and the Far East, things like that, are uh, different tools which have got different shapes, different you know ways of using it. But roughly, they're all going to work say in the same way. But down here, we do have a selection. So what we've got is these uh, are U Star ones. If we just move that camera just add a little bit over here. Okay, just so you get a better look, that's it. So we've got this here, and as you can see, this is that lethal looking blade down in here. Now that is very reminiscent to the one we've got over here. This is an Alec scraper, okay, set, okay? So we've got this one down here. Okay, we've also got this one here. All right, and we have this one here, which has also got holes on it as well, okay? Now these aren't just fancy little ninja throwing stars and all the rest of it. The idea is, and this is quite nice because these have actually got the sizes written on here, is to give you that perfect curve so you can actually scrape it into form. Okay, so actually what we mean is, if you were to be taking, and if we take one of these guys, so let's have a go with this one, all right? So down in here, we have them here. And they got a little bit about using them on the back for seam scraping and stuff like that. But basically, always the way it's going to be stuck onto something. Now, oh, there we go. You have it on. Now, you do have to be a little bit careful with these, I'll be honest with you, because they are pretty sharp pieces of metal if you catch them in the wrong way, okay? Now, the thing with these is, don't be fooled that it's just a pressed piece of metal, because these things clearly are not. These are extremely strong. Sometimes you get bluing on them and all the rest of it, so I assume they're even heat treated for strength, okay? Because the last thing you want is this bending, because as soon as it starts to bend, it can actually then conform a different shape and you end up not doing a good job. But this one is particularly nice because we've got on it, it's quite a small one, but as you might be able to see, it's got various sizes of various things on here. So if you take, um, I'm just trying to think what we can test this on. Okay, so assume, that the top of uh, Buster's tail here, you've got your standard centre seam running between because you've squashed the wing too hard to go, and this down here, which to be honest is a little bit flat. Okay, we'd like it to be a little bit more curved. What you can actually do is come along with this guy, work out what size it actually is. Okay, though, you know, roughly working your way down, that one's going to be a little bit shallow, that one's going to be a tiny bit shallow. Yeah, I'll probably get in there. Okay, so then what you do is you can come down and scrape. Now what actually happens is, if you can see, you're getting proper shavings coming off of this. Okay, one is they're easy to get rid of, although sometimes they do pick up a little bit of static. But the big thing is, what you've actually got carved in this edge, and I know the camera's gonna find it very difficult, this, trust me, if I feel it with my finger, is ultra, ultra smooth. It's not like it's jarred its way through. This is totally smooth to the touch, okay? Also, because it's on a curve, because this is, it hasn't flat spotted, and this is the key. Because there's no flat spot physically in there, it's got a perfect curve to it, all the rest of it, and it is totally smooth. So when you come down here, and to be honest, I don't think we've quite got one, oh, we might be able to do. If we come down here, that's gonna blend out, okay? So if we just try and work this down here a little bit, if we come along, as you can see, we're cutting through the other old stuff down here before we get it down which is quite good because it's showing you just how this is working. Okay, you can see it in there. Now we're just starting to belly out just a little bit, so we're just gonna flick over to our next size. 
Okay, and on to the next one. We're just going to come down in here. And you can probably see the plastic, how clean it is. But it is totally, totally smooth. Let me just rub this away. And you can see how it's cleaning out that gap. But it's not flat spotting this as it goes. Okay, and this is the secret with the scrapers. So I can then carving literally down in here, no roughness, totally smooth all the way around. You probably wouldn't even need to come back with anything else to tidy it up. Now the other big thing it does using these scrapers, obviously they're all going to work roughly in the same way, okay? So as you can see down here you've got different sizes on this guy, we've got different ones on here, so there's a lovely little leaf pattern actually, okay? But down here, for instance, you've got a very broad area at the top right the way down to this corner one which is absolutely minute okay and right the way around so you've got all the sizes so if you were uh let's just assume you had a bit of pipe okay um for once look this is actually quite a good one let's find a bad one uh, <laughs> Okay, so say this is a pipe. So you've got your usual type of center seam running down through here, which let's just assume isn't the best, all right? So what you can actually do then is take this guy, and I'm just trying to work out the sizing. Maybe that size, that size, that one's a little bit. But this is what you're trying to do, is just work out how big it is. And then you simply rub down, okay? Now that one, to be honest, is a little bit big, so we're just gonna come in here. You can see how it takes out the burring line between. So you just slight the angle, and again, ultra, ultra smooth. And this is where I have to be honest. I thought they'd all work the same. This is actually cleaning better, cleaner than even these are. Okay, because this one, I'm just, you can feel the difference. So if I take my usual guy, and this is the one I've been using a long time. I can feel little tiny lumps and bumps, little tiny nicks. It's just where it's perhaps skipping as it goes on. Now it could be this one's old, I've had it for a, about a year now. But this guy, I have to say, yeah, it's gone absolutely beautiful. So it's a lovely clean finish. So that's roughly how they work. So little instances, okay, down the back of a Spitfire down here, a leading edge of a wing. So perhaps you've got that standard thing where you've got a little bit of join going down there. That's just fine, a nice one. Okay, so let's just come in here, somewhere like that. So you can, and it's doing it beautifully on here. Clean down, so you haven't got that sandwich. And sometimes where you get the glue squirting out, things like that. On the back here, or down here, quite a common one for aircraft. So again, we're just gonna come in and uh, probably something like here. We can just, obviously we're going through a lot of paint and filler and everything else this thing's had. And there we go, again, we're down and smooth. And don't forget, it's always got the curve, all right? But you've also got a very curved blade with a slight in-curve onto it, and we've got a huge big curve here. So if you wanted to get in on something like you know, Buster down here. You've got a huge curve, which would probably do. Sorry, Buster. Not quite. It's actually not quite big enough to do just down there, but that is extremely close that you would could come down and have the curve and you could scrape down to take out the seam line that's down there, okay? So, escape that one, mate. So that is about it, but think about it. Um, figures, you know you get the seam lines down the side and all the rest of it, you can get in there with the tool, scrape them out, no problem at all. You can do things like wheels, anything with a curve, piping especially. If you know when I did the Ducati bike recently, we did that lovely, uh, was it 112 scale Ducati, all the seam lines, it's tammy up, but it still had them. So we went round and we did all the seam lines like it. So they're absolutely fantastic. The other thing we got down here as well is these. We've looked at some of these before, but this is different ones. These are crazy modeler ones, okay, .net. These have actually got various scribing tools. You might see the hooks down there and all the rest of it. That's for putting into your standard handle uh, blade holder, and you can use them as those. But also we've got ones with teeth as well, which are very reminiscent to those Tammy ones we looked at, okay? But these look to be absolutely fantastic. We've got points and we've got hooks, okay? So we know they'll be for engraving or panel line work and everything else like that. So they look to be very nice. These guys here, I assume, are saws, okay? So we've got various different things down in here. So let's just open one of these guys up and have a look to see what we've got. So this lethal looking ninja, beautifully done, I have to say. Now, down here we have a thing. So this is saying it's a steel scraper. And I'm guessing because we've got uh, 
these in here like this. I'm just seeing what this is. is. Scribe a slot. Scribe a slot. Okay, and all the rest of it. But this guy, I have no doubt, would easily cut through anything. Okay, so we're just going to try it. So it's on the pole, and the blade is absolutely horrendously sharp to the point where I don't think it will go through this because it's a little. It's like a, you know, there we go. And also, the thing is, when you look at it, that's a beautifully clean cut. That's because I was hacking through it. But that shows just how lovely that actually is. That hack through that in no problem at all. And again, you've got various different ways of using this tool. I don't know if that would scribe. Maybe it would. Let's just try that as a scribe on Buster. Yeah, so you could use it for a scriber. That is, definitely. So that's a point three scriber on there. And it's actually saying scriber slots, but I don't know these too well. Should have done my homework. But generally, we just put this up here. You'll see. Very nice. Don't forget, we're cutting through a lot of rubbish on this guy. Okay. Very nice, very clean. Again, some very nice tools. It looks lethal, doesn't it? Absolutely mad. And then over this guy. So again, we're talking, it's for scribing and cutting and everything else like that. So if you wanted to use this guy, I assume for doing a curved scribe. Let's just see how this will work down on here. So you could come along with your scriber. I'm going to curve. Or cut. Definitely. Into a curved surface. So if you did want to come along and do round a nose. Something else like that. You can literally. This is covered in horribles and nasties. And roll it right round to put in your curve. So you've got those, what about this guy? Don't know about that one. But yes, definitely very, very lethal. So it's saying slot, I don't know what the slot is for, but this guy is definitely for scribing. This is quite a, a lethal scriber on the end there. Everything else like that. So there we go, absolutely fantastic. Again, very handy tools to have. If you haven't used any type of scrapers before, these Ultra Star ones, I must admit, are absolutely fantastic. I'll be sending one up to Steve and he can have a play with it as well. But these are these guys, well worth it. Definitely run out and buy yourself a set of scrapers from anywhere. The other one we've got down here is this one, okay? Again, these are great because you've got slight curves on the edges. So if you were doing work very much on um, more architectural stuff, so if you wanted to have a beam with a small roll on it, you could have a square piece of plastic, run them down, and it will put those curves in there. So this is what it's actually doing, is putting these curves into them. So it's got different circumferences on there. So you've got two mil, 0 0.7, 0 0.25, but it's gonna round off the edges of things. Okay, so that, one's, is, that one is designed for. So there we go, look on the back here. So you can see it will just so you puts the round line down there as you use them. Okay. So again, very handy tools to have, well worth your investment. Even if you just get one, you will find yourself using it more and more and more. Traditionally, where you might get in there with a sander, you'll find you'll get a cleaner, nicer uh, cleanup area by using a scraper instead of sanding it or traditionally cutting into it. Thank you.